Yeah, swim class. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> What do you like about swim class? Swim class. What, what do you do in swim class? Under. What do you do in swim class? Under. You go under. What else do you do? One, two, under. One, two, three, under. Under. It's fun, isn't it? You like to go under? Under. Do you have fun at swim class? Under. Under. Um. Um. And then we go home? Yeah. Yeah. Class. Yay! So for us, um, Aaron's parents have a pool. My parents live on a lake. Um, my aunt, who also watches Reese, lives on a lake. And so it was really important now that he is running and walking and all over the place that he has some confidence and some skills in the water. Um, so we were looking around different places where we could do swim class, and Aquatots is the closest, most convenient, um, and it also... It's not that expensive, so that's what we went with, and we, so far, have absolutely loved it. So the first class was good. The second class was horrible. Um, actually, after the second class, we didn't know if we were gonna be able to keep doing it or not, because um, R had kind of a rough time. Um, was screaming, super afraid, um, poor Aaron had to do that one with him and it was tough um, but then by the time we got to the third class it was awesome again and now all he does is talk about swim class um, so just a couple things uh, first off the price the price is for the level that we did which is just the basic I think um, was 170 you're blocking the camera but you want to sit with Dada <laughs> Um, so can I keep going? Yeah. Okay. So cost wise, it was 170 a month just for Reese, but he gets to go twice a week. Um, and they charge you monthly, which I think is cool. They also offer opportunities for discounts so you can get referral discounts. I think it's like $30 off the month if you refer somebody and they sign up. Um, but then you can also do like a social media um discount and so if you post on social media tagging aqua tots in it you can do it once a month and you'll get five dollars off every month that you do it which is pretty cool even though we forgot to do it this month which is silly um so class wise we love it um secondly the lessons that they learn we love so i had no idea how to teach a kid how to swim i was assuming it was just putting them under and blowing bubbles and things like that kicking arms all that stuff but I was pretty wrong um, so you go in and the instructors are awesome because they're explaining every activity to you so there's songs and there's fun little movements that you do um, and you're in the pool with your child at this level and he's on level two um, oh Louis fell asleep bonus um, so the instructors are explaining every bit to you so they explain why you're just putting them underwater without, you know, too much of a warning. Why you're not worried about them knowing how to blow bubbles. Um, actually, she said that teaching them how to blow bubbles is actually bad for them with for like survival because you want them to save all of their oxygen if they were stuck in a pool or a lake or a body of water um, without an adult and they were, you know, in trouble. You want them to conserve their oxygen. So. That's pretty cool. They're teaching um, how to grab onto the wall of the pool and hang on, how to climb out of the pool, how to roll over from your belly to your back. Um, we are learning some kicking, but um, they're learning depth perception and all kinds of really important stuff if they were, for some reason, in a body of water by themselves. Uh, uh, don't touch, Reese. We you don't touch up? the camera. <laughs> okay. You wanna sit with mama or you wanna sit with Dada? You can sit over there, you're doing a good job. So the classes are awesome, Reese is learning a ton. Um, what's the other stuff that we like? You talk about instructors are pretty nice. Yeah, the instructors are also awesome. Um, we had one bad experience with an instructor and that was that 
second class where R was kind of losing it. Um, we both thought, you good? You okay? You can't touch the camera. You want to sit in the pillow? Mom already told you that. <laughs> sit in the pillow. That's a fake cry if I ever seen one. <laughs> Don't touch nope. the coffee. Excuse me. We're not going to drum right now, though, okay? The instructors have been awesome so far. We've had a couple different experiences where we've had like pros and cons, I guess. Um, his second class, he was kind of losing it, and Aaron was in the pool with him, and the instructor just like completely ignored him, like wasn't even looking at the two of them. And so that was kind of hard for Aaron because he was like, well, I kind of wish you would give me some instruction. Like, my kid's losing it. This is second class. He's obviously scared. Like, I wish that she would help me through this and she wasn't so we didn't really like that but then our last class i was in there with reese and there was another kid who was losing it and it kind of felt because you only get 30 minutes so it kind of felt like because the instructor was over there with him the whole time every time that he was losing it and it kind of felt like we wasted our class because she was just over there with him and we're just like standing in this pool not really doing anything um so now we've seen both sides of it so i guess for the instructors it's kind of a balance like how much time are you spending on the kid who's losing it how much effort are you putting into getting him calm again um and how much time am i spending with the kids? are you a cow you see a cow back there yeah. um and how much time am i spending with the parents whose kids are participating um the only difference was that student was losing it just because he had a bad attitude he's normally like always having fun in the pool and always loves it he's been in the classes for a long time um so that's the only difference is like for me it was like well it's just his attitude that's wrong he's not afraid of the pool so that's why she should spend more time with us um when with reese it was directly related to being in the water that he was having a hard time so I don't really know. Those, that's really the only negative that we've seen, but I totally get it as an instructor. You only have four kids, so you want to make sure that you're doing the best for everybody. So I'm sure that's a hard balance. Um, but they're super flexible with the schedule. You can do, I think you can do as many times a week as you want. Um, we just wanted the cheapest option, and that seems to be really good for Reese because it gives him a few days in between where he's asking about swim class, he's excited for it, and then we get to go, and it's really fun. Um, have you had fun at swim class? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favorite part? Jump in the water. Jump in the water. Oh, and then they also teach them boundaries. So it's like, wait, 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 one, two, three, go! And then they jump into the water, which is pretty cool. Um, and I've seen that even in other aspects of Reese's life, even when it's not just to do with water. We've been able to see more clear boundaries for him and better listening when it comes to boundaries. Um, so overall, it's been really cool. We've only been doing it for one month. And so uh, we've had a lot of fun. Reese definitely loves it. And honestly, I only wanted to do it for one month because I didn't want to spend $170 a month on swimming. But now that I've seen the lessons that they do and why they do it and I understand it, we're going to keep them in there because if my son's going to be around water in any aspect of his life, not even the fact that he's going so many days a week, I just think that these, I just think that these skills are so crucial. The number one cause of death for babies and kids up to the age of five, I think, is drowning. And I don't feel like anybody talks about that. And 70% of drowning victims are male because I think they just explore more. They're a little bit more curious or brave or whatever. Um, and so me having two boys and learning that, now I'm like, okay, we're going to be on it. Like These kids are going to know how to swim. They're going to know to respect the water. They're going to know boundaries with water. Um, and I think Aquatots does an incredible job of teaching that. So Aquatots is awesome. If you're thinking about it, do it. Aquatots, if you're watching this, we love you. Oh, and you've noticed that Reese is wearing undies. Reese, you want to show everybody your undies? Now turn around. Show me your undies. Say ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> so Reese is 20, almost 22 months old, and he is potty trained. So next video, we're going to show you guys a little bit about that.